Hi there, Captain Cripple here again, and today I'm going to show you how to make alerts work on your Trovo live stream using OBS and TrovoBot.js. So, first things that you're going to want to do is you want to going to go into your bot file folder, TrovoBot master here. You're going to double click on that until you get into where it says services. You're going to double click on that, double click on OBS. You're going to right click the OBS JSON file. And you're going to go to open with notepad. At first it's going to say active false. Change this to true. File. Save. Once that's done, you will be able to connect to uh, your bot and OBS so they'll be integrated together. Once that is done, you're going to want to go into your OBS and now we have to actually create the scene that has your alerts. So most people are going to have three in here. You're going to have your follow alert, you're going to have your sub alert, and you're going to have your spells alert. So anytime someone follows, subscribes to your channel, or casts spells, you'll get an alert. So how this works is you're going to have to go over to scene and you're going to have to create a new scene just by you know clicking add and then you're going to call it alerts just like this so hyphen alerts all capitalized hyphen once that happens you're going to go into your sources and you're going to add a few things so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a folder group so if you just go to the plus sign and hit group and there you can type in follow so it has to be exactly capitalized like this once you've got that done you have to make three sources to go inside of that folder. So the follow name, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to go add text GDI like this. Uh, and then I named it follow name. What is going to happen here is that this is actually going to pull information from that file I showed you in your bot folder so that when somebody follows, it'll pop up on your screen. So, you know, name it follow name if you'd like to. So once you're in follow name, you can select whatever font you would like. The text file, uh, you, this comes up is once you click on read from file, right there, that check mark. And then you're going to want to browse. You're going to go to your place where your Trovo bot master is wherever that is, um, you're going to double click on that. You're going to double click on labels and then where it says latest follow right there, you're just going to click on open. Uh, the default is always that name and it'll first pop up. So that'll show up the follow name. The follow alert. So for me, that's what I have a little video that has a person tripping and it says thank you for the follow please watch your step on the way in. Uh, for this part you will need to either know somebody to make this happen for you or have a little bit of video editing software because you'll have to put your follow alert message and your sound effect if you would like and your gif if you'd like all in one space so you'll have to make a video for that. The follow message, this is the part that says, you know, thank you for the follow, please watch your step on the way in. So when you have it all together, that's what it's going to look like. So we're going to go ahead and hide all of these because they need to be hidden anyway, because if they're not, they're going to show up on your stream all the time. You're going to take everything here. And what I did is I just clicked on the first one, held down shift, and then clicked on the last one to select everything. And you're going to click and drag that into that folder. So now all your alerts are here. So now we just have to do this again for your sub alerts and your spell alerts. So let's do sub next. So we're going to go back to over to your sources, click the plus sign group, and you're going to type in sub in all capitals like that. And now we have to add your sub name, so the person that just subscribed, and of course your little alert that has your video and your sound, and then lastly, your sub alert message. So let's add the sub's name first. So we're going to click the plus sign, text GDI plus. We're going to call this uh, sub name, like that. We're going to select our font. 
Uh, we're going to need to read from file, browse, and then you're going to go back to where your bot is located. What happens to be in downloads, uh, go through until you get over to uh, labels on your Trovobot master file, which is right there. And there's the latest sub. So you're going to click on that, click open, select your color if you wish. And then go ahead and resize it. Next, what we'll do is we'll add the message that'll be displayed once the person subscribes. So we'll call it a sub message. Once we do the plus GDI plus. Uh, select your font. It'll say thank you for the sub. You are now a certified troublemaker. And for here, if you want everything to be aligned properly, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down uh, where you see alignment. You're just going to click down that onto center. Now that's all centered up. You can go back and select your color if you wish. Okay, that. Obviously this is way too big, so we're going to resize it. Put it there. And then the last thing that we we're going to want is our little alert. So our GIF and sound that's been added together with our video edit software. So we're just going to add a media source right there. We're going to call this sub alert. I happen to have one pre-done up, so I'm going to go ahead and browse for it. And I have a folder here for Trovo alerts, sub alert, and there's my little video. So we'll open that, OK, and then position it where you'd like. Now let's not forget to hide all of these because we don't want them showing all the time. And then we're going to select everything as I showed you earlier where you click the top, pull down your shift, click the bottom. All these are selected and then shove them into your subfolder. So those are ready to go. The last alert that you'll need is your spell. So add a group, call it spell, S-P-E-L-L, -L, just like that. We're going to add our text GDI. This is going to be for the spell name, spell name. So this is the person that casts the spell. Select your font. We're going to read from file again. We're going to browse. And we're going to look for our bot. Again, open it up to where you get to labels. This is the latest spell. So you're going to click that, click open. Adjust your font, as I said before, and your color. And you're all set. Now, all you got to do, again, resize that to whatever size you'd like. Now when I did this for real, I had everything showing so I could size everything to everything else and make it look cohesive. All right, so we got the name. Let's do the message next. So add text GDI. We're going to call this a uh, spell message. You can call it whatever you'd like. Uh, select your font and we'll say, thank you for the spells, just like that and add my color. And resize it. And then lastly, our little alert graphic and sound or your video actually. So we're going to hit the plus button, go back to media source. We're going to call this spell alert. We're going to browse and just go ahead and find your alert that you or someone else created. Uh, so that's going to be back under my folder, underneath the Trovo alerts, and under spells, and there's my little spell alert right there. Okay, so I'm going to resize this because obviously it's too big. 
it where it belongs. You can always find it again by hiding it and then showing it again. So you can resize it or you could put it on loop. Uh, so that's all set to go. So we're going to go ahead and hide all these. And then select them all as we did before. And then shove them into the folder. So now you have your alerts ready. To make them actually appear on your main scene that you are using, what you're going to have to do is go to your main scene right there. Um, as you can see, I've already pre-done it, but we're going to do it again for you just to show it. So you're going to hit the plus sign on Sources, go over to where it says Scenes, Add Existing Alerts. So now when someone follows, subscribes, or triggers a cast, it'll show up on your stream. So the easiest way to test this is just use spells. Um, you know, if you've got a friend that's got an account that can cast you a couple of spells, or if you have an extra account that you can test it with, um, that's the easiest way to figure out if at least you got your spells working. Follows and subs, you'll just have to find out when they follow and sub, but it will work. So that's how you do alerts on Trovo. I hope that I was able to give you a really good tutorial on this. If you have any questions, please go ahead and contact me on Discord, discord.gg forward slash capc. And please don't forget to come by my channel on Trovo Live, trovo.live forward slash Captain Cripple. See you later.